Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living or time worth having when I'm sitting here doing my work, building portfolio, and probably acting like a jerk. I am in charge of my time. How I choose to use my time as, as a victim of cybercrime is completely up to me. How you choose to use your time when you're on the job is not up to you. When you are working for a company, you are required to do your job description. Your job description is very clear about what your job is and what it is not. Your areas of accountability that we talk about in writing job descriptions, of which I've done in my life in manufacturing and other places, is that your job is openly yours. And when you do your job, you get paid. When you don't do your job, you don't get paid. It's not any different in the business of entrepreneurship. In a time of COVID, people are a little bit less likely to spend money used to be true. Last year and through the holidays was absolutely true. As summer has emerged, as summer has passed, as we're almost heading into fall, people are different. They are shopping more. They are certainly spending on consumable goods. They are certainly spending on their homes. They are certainly spending on their vehicles. They are certainly spending to provide themselves gas. But I haven't seen or been in a vehicle for a long time, so I can't even tell you the current gas prices. But what I do know about buying online is that our shopping is not always private. Because if we decide to save our minutes and use a Wi-Fi network, there's always the possibility that someone nearby in a different shop who's an employee of a different store might be watching what you're doing or hacking what you're doing or interfering with your life. Now, if you're an American citizen, you pretty much know that we don't do this. We're not supposed to do this. It's first and foremost immoral to eavesdrop and to gossip about someone's life. It's second of all illegal according to federal law, and it is a form of identity theft and cyber crime. It most certainly is fraud. But if you're interfering with a life, trying to delete their history or improve their life, you're full of shit because nobody asked you to do it.